Welcome to my New York kitchen. It's very small and it's very New York. This is something in the kitchen, like stretch. Turn it and I want to put my. Don't do it. Like crap. Vegetable bouillon. I am going to make a vegetable soup today. It's something that I love to make. Whenever I actually come to New York after traveling, I love to make a big batch of vegetable soup and just have it in the fridge. Knit for a snack, um, for meals. I love to eat it before going to sleep. Really satisfying, but I don't feel bad for eating like two or three bowls of it because it's literally just vegetables. It's super simple and Honestly, I think it's flavorful, but you can, there's so many different things that you can add in and twist it up to make it better or like different versions of it. I like to make different versions of it all the time. I, I'll just see whatever like fresh organic produce is on sale or is having good deals or just around and put it all in a big old pot. With, and it's really tasty and it's really healthy. So without further ado, here is my vegetable soup. These are all of the vegetables that I'm going to be putting in the soup. The starter that I love to start with, it has celery. I'm new at this, so just bear with me. It has celery, onion, and carrots, and I just chop it up all really finely, put it in the bottom of the pan. This is like how I'm starting the soup. and just let it cook down. It's like a really good soup starter and tastes really yummy. Um, and then we have, they had some like colored carrots. So we have those, which I chopped up, some kale, which I'll put in last, a leek. Um, onions kind of hurt my stomach. There's a little bit in that. I put like the smallest amount, but I love leeks because it's still the same flavor as an onion, but it doesn't hurt my stomach as bad, so. These can be dirty little hoes, so make sure that you wash them. I always cut them down the middle and then wash out the insides because they are grown pretty far underground, so they get dirty. Which, we're not opposed to dirty things, but like, we don't want dirty leeks, okay? Okay. Um, and then we have some celery. We have some zucchini. They're awesome. They have a great shape. I need, to, I need to stop being sexual. Um, broccoli and cauliflower and some cabbage. I add cabbage at the end. I love cabbage. It's like one of my favorite vegetables. I just like it. So that's what we're gonna put in the soup and then I'll show you the different spices because we have a whole lot going on over there. Okay, I'm just gonna let that sweat out. Let it do its thing. Well, okay, I cut the bottom off of the leek and then I cut it down the middle and you kind of like fray it open like that and then you have to wash all of those different layers of happiness to show you how to clean these dirty little balls. So celery is the next thing I put in on top of that little mixture that I told you about. And when I chop it, I... I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, the best part. It's just going to go into the soup and... When you phone just fell, I don't have a case on it yet. But we're good, we're good, we're good. I can't with myself. This is not flattering. Oh so well. I'm showing you guys the best of me. The real me. And then I'm gonna let all of that cook down and add some spices. Look at how pretty the purple carrots are. Can't believe Mother Nature makes stuff that pretty. That's crazy. Okay, this is my veggie soup flavoring situation. If you wanna keep it vegan, you can just use vegetable bouillon, vegetable bouillon. Sounds super fancy, but it's basically just vegetable paste and I add it to water to make the broth. Um, but I like putting vegetable and a little bit of chicken and I always use low sodium because 
some of them are really high in salt. These are like, sorry, this looks a little ratchet because I've had it for a while, <laughs> but they last for a long time. Um, but this is just a chicken flavor. It like comes in a little pack. It's, it's like condensed chicken broth. It's one of these to a cup of hot water. So I'll probably put two or three teaspoons of this and then like two or three of these. Cause this is like where we're gonna get all of our flavor. And of course out of the vegetables, but I'm not adding any meat. And a lot of the time when you make like chicken soup and stuff, you boil the chicken. So that gives you a lot of the flavor. So what I'm gonna put in some black pepper, some Himalayan pink salt, and I'll see if it needs salt. Normally I try not to add salt because the bouillon already has salt, but to each their own. A little bit of garlic powder. Garlic kind of hurts my stomach, which really freaking sucks because I love it and it makes everything taste really good. Um, so I don't use fresh garlic, but if garlic doesn't hurt your stomach, fresh garlic, starting it off with adding that uh, and the olive oil and then adding the little mixture that I told you about is like cherry. Have some ground cumin, just a couple sprinkles of that, which I like. I use this 21, 21 seasoning salute. It's from Trader Joe's, it's really good. It has like just everything good in it. So I use a little bit of that, a little bit of oregano if we're feeling spicy, and then some red pepper because I love to add spice and a little bit of heat to everything I eat. So I'm gonna put all of those spices in and then add some water, build the base and the flavor, and then I'll add all the other veggies. I'm just chopping up the zucchini and the broccoli but I like to keep them in like bigger pieces because if you chop them up too little, they're gonna disappear in the soup and then you're just gonna have mush and you're not gonna have pieces of nice fresh veggies. So that's just a tip, just the tip. <laughs> I really need to stop. Another thing to remember that I forgot to tell you was to always wash your veggies because those babies are going to be taking a little bath and they're gonna be soaking in the soup. So wanna make sure that they're clean and there's no icky stuff on them. Is she ready for the big veggies? Pour them on in there. Don't worry, that's just water. That's just water. It's fine, we're fine. I'm not gonna burn down my apartment building. So I'll add the zucchini. And I'll just add all the big veggies and then let it cook down. And add more water until like the water is you can see it, but it's not overtaking it because the vegetables as they cook down will release a, a lot of like water and stuff. So there will be more liquid. Um, but yeah, and then I'm going to cut up my kale, my good pal kale. And the cabbage is already cut and I'll add that at the end. So I took a shower, obviously. Now I'm just adding the kale and the cabbage. I'm gonna try and do this with one hand. It's very hard because I don't have a tripod yet. Yeah, so that's basically it. I'm just gonna let that cook down and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. I just sat down on my couch. Before I spill shit, because I spill stuff all the time. I just sat down on my couch and that is how it turned out. And it doesn't look super appetizing, but I promise you it's really good. My handy dandy friend Sriracha is really yummy on it. So yeah, I hope that you guys liked this and I will share more recipes with you. Bye. Also really quick, like and subscribe. I know that everybody says that on YouTube, so do it. Um, I'm super excited that I started doing this. I have actually really enjoyed vlogging what I do and I can't wait to share with you guys 
what I eat in a day, different workout routines, um, just like the stupid shit that I get up to sometimes uh, with my friends and just, yeah, showing you the real me because I'm nuts. <laughs> okay, bye.